Today I'm going to show you two easy ways of how to remove shadows in portraits. Hello my friends and let's get started. So we have this nice portrait here but there's too much shadow in the face and we will correct that. It's very easy. The first thing we're going to do is click over here on the right side on adjustment layers and select the curves layer. The next thing we need to do is click on the mask layer symbol down here so it creates a mask for it and after this we are going to right click and create a group. So the group holds our curves adjustment layer and the mask layer. The next thing you want to do is click on the mask layer and drag it over a little bit so it's in the group and below the curves layer but not attached to the curves layer. And one last thing Click on the Curves Adjustment, click on Adjustment Layers and create an HSL Adjustment Layer that sits on top of the Curves Adjustment Layer. We need that because shadows normally don't have enough color and saturation that we need so we have to readjust that. And we want to do this with the same mask as the Curves Layer. This is why we have to build this group. So the first thing we are going to do is to click on our curves adjustment and then move the curve up until the shadow look, looks right to us. Uh, like this maybe. Okay, leave it like this. You can readjust it, it later, no problem. Let's close this. And then we will go over to the mask layer and we will click the mask layer and then click up here on layers and click on invert. So the mask is not applied to the picture because we want to selectively apply that. The way we're going to do that is by using the brush tool, set it to a opacity 100, flow 100, hardness around 20 or lower and to a size that feels good to you and set it to a white color. And now you can see our brush looks a little bit like a flashlight because now the curves adjustment is shining through and we can just paint it on wherever we feel like we want it and we want to have more brightness in our picture. Of course, when you put it somewhere where you didn't want to have it, like here, you can still go back to black and remove the mask from that area. Or you can even go and reduce the opacity of your brush, either on the black or the white side, to have a medium, a mix of that. So the effect is shining through a little bit. Now what you can see is that it's brighter but the color is missing in this area. It kind of looks strange. So now we're going to click on our HSL shift adjustment. So we have this window and we are just going to pump up the saturation a little bit. You see? Just move it up a little bit so you feel like the colors and the skin look alive. Not completely strange Go, don't go crazy, just a little bit, maybe 20%, like this. So this looks pretty good. The last thing that we can do is click again on the curves layer, double click on it so this window opens. And down here we have this little wrench symbol. Click on that and you can remove the underlying composition range. And you click on the right side so it removes the effect of our curve from all of the brighter areas um, so not to apply to everything and you can see you can adjust it in a way that looks natural to you and where you feel good with the results. So this is one way to do this including making the shadow brighter and giving the shadow more color so it looks natural and you can apply it anywhere in the picture even down here you can use the brush again let's click on the mask click on our brush and you can see with the white color on the brush, I can paint in some light down here, for example, to remove the shadow from the arm and make it brighter and also give it more color because we also have the HLS shift adjustment that gives us more saturation. So you can apply this in any way to the picture that you like. This is the first way to do this. And now I'm going to show you the second way, which is kind of an abuse of the HDR merge. I will remove the group that we had before. And now we will again create an adjustment layer for curves. And 
we will move up the curve a little bit so the shadow areas like here look good in our picture and we will export this let's export this I have already three here so let's let me quickly delete can I delete them no okay let's call them 001 no problem there we go and then you right click on this dot that you created to remove it so we have just the normal picture and the straight line in the curves and export this again export this again I call it 002 there we go and then I will move the curve down so all the highlight areas look good to me uh, let's move this down a little bit maybe like this also here in the face you can see so this looks good so let's export this so we have a picture that is too bright normal and too dark I will call this 003 there we go okay and now what we're going to do is click up here on file and then on new HDR merge and we will add the pictures that we just created 001, 002, 003 open them and there they are and down here have this selected like it is and remove this or, or move this down to maybe 15% like this okay let's click on OK and the computer will calculate for us an HDR picture based on our picture manipulations so it takes a little bit looks strange for the moment and we have to do a little bit of adjustment afterwards um, but you will see it's a really great result with very little work very very easy to adjust so there we go as you can see it's too bright right now but it's not a problem because here on the right side you have the settings for the tone map and where it says tone compression I would move this down and you can see the picture is getting darker and again we have the problem that there's not enough color in the picture so scroll down here and where it says enhance you will move up the saturation a little bit and you will probably also want to move up the vibrance a little bit uh, do this to your taste where you feel the picture looks like you want to have it like the result that you're looking for and up here on top left you can see there's an apply button so when you are happy with your settings click on apply of course down here you also have a curve setting so you can even do more adjustments if you want to I will leave it at that it's pretty okay like this maybe move this in a little bit let's see nope okay let's leave it like this for the moment I will click on apply so you have a comparison to the original picture so this is our fake HDR with removed shadows and this is the original picture you can see it looks a lot better and very natural still so you can of course still edit this picture but it's a great result for a very easy and fast trick on removing shadows okay this was the video for today thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video if you like my videos subscribe i make a new video every three days and you could also support me on patreon if you like um, i have a link in the video subscription to my patreon with all the different benefits that you can get thank you very much and see you soon bye